Right now, though, uh, let's talk about, well, some good news. Next week, children going back to school. I've still got very big issues with anyone asking them to get tested or indeed to wear masks. But it looks like those are both uh, voluntary. But it does mean the, the voluntary giving up of the school of mum and dad. Well, let's talk about this with someone who has been homeschooling her two kids, Angelica Bell, who's a TV presenter, but currently full-time teacher. Good morning to you, Angelica. <laughs> Hi, Julia. How are you? you are. I'm very well indeed. I am one of the very, very lucky people to not have, you know, primary school age children or indeed having children who are, you know, don't have, you know, home Wi-Fi. The like. I've got a 14 year old who's happily on her Zoom lessons all day in a room getting on with it. Incredibly lucky. But my God, my heart goes out to my friends and all the people listening who have had um, you know, young children to try and uh, keep her educated and entertained for the lot much of the last year. It's been full on. It's been a real learning curve. And I can imagine how, you know, people listening to to us right now, they're going, oh, my goodness, if they can listen or they're homeschooling or they've got one of those earphones in their their ear while they're doing (laughs) school. It's just like just thinking, oh, my goodness, we've got three more days of this. And and then it's it's back to it because I know how hard it's been, especially if you've got two parents working. Like you said, you're in a fortunate position, Julia. Yeah. I've got two young children who I have to monitor all the time. And can you imagine if you've got really young ones as well who need that extra bit of stimulation yeah. too? So it has been challenging and had lots of ups and downs. Um, and I just think what ASDA are doing in launching this last day of homeschool bundle to sort of celebrate that, you know, that end of term feeling we all used to oh, have. Yes. You know, and whether you'd be get your, bring your marker pens in to write on shirts, <laughs> Or yeah. you've been games in on the last day of term. They, they want to celebrate this moment um, to mark the end in a fun way um, to to credit children who you know adapted so well, and also parents who who've had to sacrifice. So I just think this is brilliant, and I really wanted to get involved. Um, so if anyone would like to get one of these bundles, they've got marker pens, they've got a bit of pizza, tortilla oh. chips, some some prosecco. Um, you could just have to prosecco. Go to I, I think that's for mum rather than um, yeah. rather than well, the kids. Well, exactly. I'm glad you clarified that. Um, for as as a .com, and you can get all the information and order it there. But I just think it's a really fun way of doing it. And they did loads of research actually, I, which is interesting. Saying 24 percent of parents found home teaching to be very stressful, which we understand, which can is I quite say, low. Only 24 percent. That's what I was going to say. Which is quite say. low. Yeah, which is quite low. I um, think it's fascinating that twenty-seven percent say they'll miss teaching their own children. But that said, I know lots of people, and we certainly felt this. And I think if you were in a privileged position where you know you weren't worrying about losing work and 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 you're all safe and 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 you're in a nice enough home environment, certainly during the first lockdown, you've got to spend that extra time with your kids. And, yes. and a lot, of, I think, and the lots of polls around that time saying you know actually people were sort of reconnecting with family, realizing what really matters, and slowing down their lives again perhaps didn't want it to go on for quite so long. Um, but, no. but a lot of people have actually, have they've got a lot out of it. But I think it's been a bit harder this time around with the cold weather as well. Yeah, because you have to stay indoors, you're stuck indoors, even, you know, if you're lucky to have a garden, you're not even going out in the garden because, you know, it's, it's freezing. Um, and I think I'm one of those parents, Julia. I have loved being, reconnecting. But I think everybody has a different way of looking at it. You know, Michael, my other half, he's a teacher now. He was adopted. Yeah. I my mum and dad separated when I was when I was younger and I didn't have that close I lived with my gran so I yeah. didn't have that close connection so for me I'm seeing it as like oh my goodness you know it's all that going back I think a lot of people also have found that they've sort of reminisced about their past and yes. what they want their, ch- their their childhoods so I think it's it's been an interesting time for different people for different reasons um so I've enjoyed it I, I mean yes. I thought my heart sinks a bit that they they are going back I know they need to go back because you know the making daisy chains on the banks at my primary school are memories I'll always remember playing elastics running around you know with the netball those are those moments that develop you into the person you are your interaction with people but but they but there's a certain extent you know that there there is unfortunately also day-to-day nitty-gritty that does need to be done in terms of teaching our children the maths the english exactly the french exactly they'll help them to get through get through their daily lives i I think there'll be a lot of parents celebrating on friday oh my goodness friday is going to be something one of those uh you know mufty day and bringing kaplunk uh, and celebrate well let's face it mum's <laughs> going to be there with a prosecco i'm going to get that one out of the attic now you mentioned uh, thank it, you very much for joining us tv presenter currently homeschooling her two children but hopefully not for much longer and hopefully by the way never again i want kids to go back 